Hey everybody, so I haven't made a video in a couple weeks and I wanted to make one today so I was thinking about things that I could talk about and I decided I didn't really want to do anything related to a song or like how I like to play, you know, X version of this song or something like that. But I wanted to make another one talking about guitars. So I was with some friends last night and I was playing this uh, OMJM Martin and I thought I would make a video talking about it and giving my thoughts on it. Um, I made one with the Martin OM28 Jam, which is the limited edition version of this guitar, and talk about how that's my favorite guitar, yada yada yada, it's awesome. But that's not really accessible for, I think, the majority of people, strictly because there's really not many for sale. Um, and you can't just go to a Martin store and buy it. So I thought I would make a video on this guitar, which is the current production version of that, uh, that guitar. So this is the OM Jam. This one is number 533. Um, I have another one that I think is number 214 or something like that. So both uh, are probably almost 20 years old at this point. I think they started making them in 2005. But this guitar overall is, is I feel like people are unfair and a little harsh on this guitar. And they kind of classify it as like a, you know, collaboration sellout thing where they were going to slap uh, John Mayer's name, and I feel like they give the same criticism to the Clapton model too, and they make it sound like it's just like this cheaply made guitar that has a huge premium for the signature. And I think that there's some truth to that. I think that there's definitely a premium because it's a signature model, but I think by no means is it a, you know, cheap out version or where they use, you know, I don't think they're trying to, to, to kind of slip one by you with this guitar. It really is. It's a great guitar. It is a phenomenal guitar. And I think that it's realistically about 75 to 80% of the OM28 Jam. If I mean realistic, I think it's like 75, 80%, but for, you know, what, a sixth of the price or, you know, 20% of the price, it's, it's astronomical, the, the difference in price. And you're getting more or less the, the meat and bones are the same guitar. And I think the sound is also the same too. I think that's most people's criticism of it is not, it can't be the looks, it looks, I mean, if you hold them from 10 feet away, you're gonna think it's the same guitar. But a lot of people criticize the sound because it doesn't have X, you know, the bracing is different, the top wood or the woods are of a different quality. And yeah, I'm sure there's some merit to that, but they sound mostly the same. The The sound is the same. Is the quality of the sound the same? No, the other guitar sounds better, it just does. Um, and I think that has a lot to do also with the age, but uh, the guitars have the same signature sound. They they pr they present the same way. And I think that for, you know, for 3,000 bucks or 3,500 bucks for a new one, you can find a really nice pre on one of these guitars for 2,500, 3,000 bucks, and if you're getting a, top quality Martin guitar in the most popular body shape with abalone and in my opinion just like the cleanest design I much prefer this uh the way the OMJM looks to a standard OM28 I just think that I think it's one of Martin's best I really do and I think that's you know I, they're probably in the seven or eight thousand that they've sold now I, as far as a recent serial number uh or like you know numbering on the on the inner label it's a phenomenal guitar, and I'll never understand people that hate on this guitar because it's a Mayer guitar. Um, I think that that's kind of silly, and once they play it, they realize that it's the most comfortable neck. It's, it's the most comfortable neck, and it's the most versatile guitar. And again, I'm not, I already made a video on the OM28 Jam, so I'm repeating a lot of things because they're, again, mostly the same guitar. But this OM style guitar is just out of the box. It's it's phenomenal. And if you, you know, you're either getting into guitar playing or you're looking to like upgrade. And let's say you you're a beginner and you bought like a couple hundred dollar guitar and you're like, okay, I want to like invest and I want to have something that I can have for a long time that'll motivate me to play maybe a little bit more and sounds better. I just can't think of a better guitar than this. If you want something that's really versatile, because it can it can take the finger picking and. I'll... It just, it can, it does all styles of playing. I actually think some of the most fun I've been having playing guitar lately is this plugged into a Fishman loud box with like reverb and the chorus thing cranked up and playing acoustic guitar solos is a blast. It's, uh, this thing is just, it's a monster and it comes already has the pickup. I, I feel like people get way too 
nitty gritty when they talk about guitars and they'll say, yeah, but the top wood isn't this. And, and this isn't, you know, the, the quality of the tuner and these things like, honestly, like I, I have guitars that have the nicest of everything. And I have really basic guitars. I've never really thought about that before. You know what I liked about this guitar? It has the, the plugin already done. It, that's already set up. I can plug right into a Fishman and play. The neck is comfortable. I, I don't care what the neck is made of. It's comfortable and it plays well. Um, I don't think this guitar has ever had a setup and it's more or less perfect. It came out of the box really well. Again, this is an old guitar. Maybe it had a setup. I haven't set it, I set it up. I've owned it for a few years now. And it's always in tune. It's always, it works well. And I think we need to start judging guitars more on like, what they actually are, how, like how they're usable to players rather than, you know, some, it, I, I think this, the guitars are so similar, like wine snobs, like, oh, well, this, this, you know, the quality of this and, you know, the, that, that, that top wood isn't the same as the, as the limited model or the, the tightness of the grain. Like, that's cool. Like, and I think I look at those things if I'm going to buy like a collector grade guitar too. But I think that we need to start judging guitars more on like, what is gonna make you play the best and make you play the most really? Because the point of this stuff is to have fun. And I think that, you know, for someone to say, oh, the OM Jam doesn't have as good of woods as the OM 28 standard for the same price. It's like, okay, great. But like, if someone's a John Mayer fan or they like, you know, that style of music and, they, and this is gonna motivate them to play, that's the most important thing. I don't care if this is made out of plywood. If it's motivates somebody to play and pick up the guitar and it costs $10,000 and they can afford it, let them buy that one. Cause the whole point is for them to pick up the guitar. And if it's interesting to, to you that, you know, the look of it and how it feels and it, it plays right and it feels good for you, then that's the most important thing. And that's why I love this guitar because it, it has like an audience for it. And I think that's why signature guitars in general are cool. And that's why I don't, I don't crap on collaborations with these things, because if you can take someone that has a strong personal brand and is relevant in, in music today or relevant, really this applies to anything. And then you can target their audience and motivate them to do something simply because their name's on it. Who cares if, if, <laughs> if getting them to do it is, is the fun of it. And if you're a John Mayer fan and you buy this guitar, sh sure. Cause you get a Collings or, uh, you know, some niche guitar maker that would probably have a better value prop for you. Sure. But you're going to be like, holy crap, it's my OM jam. John Mayer plays the same one on stage. And you're like, I'm, I want to go play. That's so cool. You might see something on YouTube where, you know, holy crap, he's playing that guitar I have. And that's cool for you. And I think that's, that's a really cool thing, uh, with guitars and signature guitars in general. I'm, I'm, I'm straight off topic from this particular guitar. But um, I, I like that it's a collab. I, I'm not against it in, in, in short. But overall, the, the guitar is phenomenal. It, it sounds great. All of my friends that play it are like, wow, this sounds, this is just a great sounding guitar. And, uh, and it's just, it's really comfortable to play. I think the neck is really such a big deal on this thing. And... It just, it sounds great. It, Again, it's 80% of the OM28 jam. The OM28 is a little bit louder. It has a little bit more mid punch. This guitar can have a little bit of a boxy sound. Uh, and I mean that in a negative way. And the, another guitar that has a similar thing, but actually on, I would say is, doesn't sound nearly as good as the Beatza Bianca. It's that like all white guitar. I have one of those Martins and it's, it's honestly, that's a guitar that I would say is like actively actively sounds pretty bad <laughs> it's like if you listen it's it just it sounds it, it was like five thousand or six thousand bucks and it sounds like a seven hundred dollar guitar it, it it sounds like it's like purposely made of low quality things you know what i mean it, it, it just doesn't sound good this sounds incredible and people that crap on it i don't know if you were playing a dud that had old strings these things sound great especially if you can find one that's a little older and it has been opened up um I get really lucky. My, my friend Tyler, who runs the uh, OM28 JM Owners Club page, I mentioned in other videos, he's sent me all the leads to buy these guitars. And he's like, yep, I found like a basically brand new 15 year old OM JM. You want it? And I'd be like, sure. Um, so these things, if you can find an older one, it's, it, it'll probably sound better than the newer ones. And you get the cool, the, I, I live for the orange color. I love the orange color. And the older ones seem, the toner seems to age into this cool orange. Um, and the newer ones start off yellow, but they, I, I'm assuming that over time they'll change, but this guitar is awesome. It's, it's, 
it's it's got all the it's got all the sound. Um, it's got all the sound. Sorry, I, I have not played guitar at all today. That was pretty sloppy, but uh, it's it's there. And I think that I, I have no problem recommending this to people, even at the price point. It's a lot of money. Three thousand, four thousand bucks on a guitar is a lot of money. But the benefit too of having uh, like these signature models, where there's like there's a lot of demand for them, and there's like this niche audience that is always seeking them out, is they're very easy to resell. If you buy this guitar and you don't like it say you buy it new for 3,500 bucks or something from an authorized dealer, you know, you can pretty much immediately resell it for 2,300 or 2,500 bucks. There's always gonna be a buyer somewhere there. The cheapest ones on Reverb are, Reverb are like 3,000 or something like that. Um, so, you know, it's not like, I feel like the standard uh, model Martins are a little bit harder to resell because they just don't, they just don't have as much demand as these signature models, it seems. Um, but yeah, overall, I just, I love this guitar. I think it's great. And I honestly, I, I play this a ton, even with the, uh, the 28 jam, I, I usually will pick this one up. Um, cause it's just, it just sounds awesome. They also oddly, they, I've always found OM jams to play, have better string, string tension or something. They're, they're a little bit more buttery to play than the OM 28 jam. And that's across all of the different uh, examples that I've played. These, these guitars just play phenomenally. Um, anyway, I know this was kind of a rant and it didn't really have a lot to do with the guitar, but I, I just, I love this guitar and I think it's great. And I have, again, no problem recommending it to people that, you know, if you have a decent budget and you want an OM style, you basically, if you want an acoustic guitar that can do more or less anything, I think that, you know, any OM guitar is going to be great, but I just, I think this is a great option. And especially if, if you're a John Mayer fan, I think that this is just, this is the one, this is the one to get. And like I said, uh, as well, if you don't like it, you can easily resell it for a pretty minimal loss and get something else. Um, but yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. I'll, uh, I might make another video now about something different, maybe a song, but, uh, I appreciate it. Thanks.